head west towards the Olympic Mountains. When you hear banjo music, you're getting close. Take a left and about five more miles and you'll be in Matlock, Washington. Well, what's your name? Lou Parsons. Lou Parsons, P-A-R-S-O-N-S. Oh, thank you. Hey, can you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, no. the, the 19, about 1905, the engine, not the boiler, the engine. About 1905, Washington Harder Works, made in Seattle. 9 by 10 is the size of the engine. 9 inch cylinders, 10 inch stroke. And uh, the boiler is 1945. It's something that my dad acquired in the early 90s. And, uh, anyway. A lot, of, a lot of people don't even know what this is. Why don't you tell them what it does? Uh, it was an old steam yard, or a taller steam donkey. And uh, it, it yarded logs, pulled logs out of the woods. And, Today it's going to pull kids across there or yeah, just a sled? Yeah, kind of drag that sled back and forth. Yep. They just want to hear that whistle anyway. <laughs> so thank you. Yep. Think about this. Diesel here in Washington is over $6 a gallon. The amount of effort put into bringing this is a real sign of the dedication and the community spirit of all these people here. They pretty much all know each other. They're from our local logging community and in some way or another are tied to our Northwest forest. Most of these folks are true conservatives. Family, law and order, and personal responsibility are values woven into the fabric of this community for at least four generations. If you watch the news, you'll hear about Los Angeles, Seattle, San Francisco, Portland, and all the ills of the big city. It's easy to forget that between all those cities are the rest of us, hardworking Americans. As a Vietnam vet in Washington, you were eligible for unemployment when you got out of the service. I also was able to draw my GI Bill as I attended college at the same time. You could keep the unemployment checks coming as long as you interviewed for a job once a week. I interviewed for a job called a choke setter where that steam whistle was a big part of your life. I quickly realized this was not a field for me. You're going to pull this lad across pretty soon? Alright, uh, someone goes down that other one. Oh. We're not in charge of that one. <laughs> I found one of these in the woods, cut off right there, just the wind. Is this the last one working around here anywhere, isn't it? Uh, there's a couple, but it's the last one that we that usually goes around. It's mobile at least. Yeah, that's that's uh, quite the setup by itself. Yeah. It's the only chance people get to see that. Is that is that sled anything special or is it just something to drag? It's called a pig sled. They used to use it to pull the blocks out of the rig and stuff back in the day. You mean for like, like a spar pole block yep, or? Yep, yep. Okay. Or out to a tail hold or you know something. So they put the heavy stuff on there and then drag it out. Yep. Okay, that's good to know. Thanks. That lot gets about 83 inches of rainfall annually. If you want to understand this community, you can read a great book by Ken Kesey called Sometimes a Great Notion. On the surface, it's about a logging family, 
but it goes much deeper than that. In one of the scenes, the union organizer boss is complaining about the rain because he has athlete's foot clear up to his crotch. Oh yeah? All the energy I had today was just last night's load. You got more than I do. I was I figured it was going to be too wet. We were going to bring the hay press and I said forget it. When the rain squalls come roaring through, we move inside the gym. These people are raising funds for the Mary M. Knight School here, which is kindergarten through 12. There's not a lot of tax base in this county, and these people come out to publicly support their public school by bringing their money and funding raising at events like this whenever they can. It's a tight community. <laughs> I don't think there are anybody. No, there isn't any. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, that's right. that's right. I didn't want John to know there weren't pies here because I knew he wouldn't come. Oh, he, oh, he wouldn't? Hey, where's your display? Well, I'm just curious. You know, oh, it's in your hand. Sure I got, got some you. Money out of it. <laughs> it's hard to do both. <laughs> Really hard. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's south. Is that southwest? Yeah, it's coming. And the puppy is right. You won't melt. Oh, I know. Ain't worried about me. I'm worried about Graham. Oh, yeah? He's here somewhere. Wherever there's pie, that's where we'll find him. Yeah, I didn't see any pies in there though. He went in there. Oh. Where they always are. Oh, okay. The whole mac room, where the oven kitchen is. That's where I lost them. I saw them go in there, and then they disappeared. No. No. What did you guys see? Anything over there for mom? Eh, not much. Where'd you go? some little vegetables. Did you go over there yet? I think you think that I just just. I 
just had some little basket plugs on one of the people. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You have to show me where they are. I'll show you. They're in that building, right? Yeah. In the gym? Nope. They're on the other side. Oh. On it? Here's all the good stuff, Mike. Hey, guys. Sure. I'm going to go over there and make sure I get my obligatory pie. All right. I'm, I'll, be, I'll be in the gym at noon. Okay. Welcome everybody. Y'all hear that? 